I served in the Air Force from 1969 to 1972, 1968 to 1972. The, the reason I'm up here is I believe that the, the greatest tool that the President and the Congress and the Senate, the people that are so liberal and, and democratic about the whole thing, the greatest tool is our American optimism and our, our innate goodness. And I think it's it's very un, it's very un-American, very un-American, and I believe that Obama understands this, that we should even think that somebody in such a power, in such a position of power and responsibility would do anything other than try to I'm sorry. We can't hear you. I'm sorry. All right. It's it's inconceivable to almost everyone, especially at these tea parties and around the country, as good God-fearing Americans, to think that anybody who took an oath of office, pledged to ups, uphold the Constitution, would do anything other than their best to serve the American people. Obama's a very articulate, attractive guy. And he's learned, he's learned that he can say what he wants, but the most hardworking Americans just don't have the time to investigate the facts. They will hear what he says and give him credit for all the things he says, but then he will not do what he says he's gonna do. The point I'm trying to make is, that I believe every single policy, with almost without exception, that he has instituted has the objective of causing the American people to become more dependent upon government. I'll wrap up, but this is more important than music. <laughs> right? All right. I don't like it when our guys are dying over there in Afghanistan and Iraq, and the president's going around the world on his little dates with Michelle to New York, or coming up to Russia with a couple weeks in Italy or whatever, and wasting our tax dollars while he's dissing the American people and hence the service. I don't like that. I don't like it that, he's, that he uses the environmental movement, which is so important to all of us. We all care about the environmental movement. But I'm telling you, if I hear about this global warming anymore, or methane coming out of the butts of cows, I'm going to die, I'm going to drive me nuts. I think health care can use some revision, but I don't think it needs to be taken over by the government. And I think everybody in this... Everybody in this room, except possibly the young lady I came here with, will recognize that I'm probably a senior citizen, and I don't like the idea of having health care rationed in the future, and my and decisions made for me by the government. And I, I particularly take offense to the fact that the... That the uh, the media is no longer objective. It's not like we had during Watergate where you could expect some investigative reporting. It's the very people today, uh, Barney, Frank, Chris Dodd, Chuck Schumer. These are the same people that were, were compelling banks to make loans to people that did not have the means to repay them. They caused the problem. And is it reasonable for them to try to fix it? No. I guess the, the, most, the most important thought to wrap this up is that we don't want to let our innate goodness as Americans to interfere with our objectivity. If 
a man who is sworn to uphold the Constitution is obviously not doing it and not being held account accountable because both the Senate and the House are on his side, including the Attorney General and everybody else, if every policy that he comes up with is designed to drive businesses overseas because of cap and trade, which he's outwardly hostile to coal, do you realize that that little a business of that little resource of coal was what drove the the whole imperial Ger uh, uh, Japanese Empire into World War II. It was a formidable foe, and it was only coal that drove it. And Obama wants to ignore coal. He he wants to ignore uh, uh, nuclear power, and he wants us to drive around in silly little clown cars and have wind in windmills. And the problem is that wind is not something that can be stored. It's a direct source of power. It's great for rural areas, but we need oil, and we have oil. <laughs> and most of all, and most of all, we need to have everyone here go out and let people know that that things are not as they seem in Washington. It's up to us to let people know that the, what they hear on the national news is not necessarily what it is. What they hear out of Obama's mouth, they can take the opposite and assume that is true. And that we will be a socialist Marxist country in short order if we don't get more activist about this and do our best to bring this presidency to a close. Thank you very much. God bless America. Hey folks, I, uh, very quickly, we're going to get going here in just, just a moment. Um, the, uh, the rain kind of slowed us down a little bit. The uh, crowd is bigger than we were anticipating. And so... <laughs> So we're going to take just a moment and kind of reposition a few of these these uh, speakers so that the people out on the sides and behind us can, can hear as well as the people in front. So just uh, carry on with uh, talk to your neighbors and we'll be with you in just a moment. Thanks.